What's up, everybody? Welcome to another one of Dave's Daily Dives, where I take a look at the key major market averages, try to find some areas of support and resistance for you. But it doesn't stop there. Then I've got five Zach's Rank number one strong buy stocks that are breaking out to new highs. So this gives you actionable events and actionable trades that you can take a look at and consider for manana. So first, today, pulled on my S&P 500 chart, um, drawn fibs because, gosh darn, we just need one. I just need one. Um, intraday, another high here on the S&P 500. That's fantastic. So I've got basically the August low to this recent high, and we're kind of playing in this ballpark. Now, that gives the 23.6% retracement at 2554 as support on any possible deeper move to the downside. Of course, everything has been fantastic here on the S&P 500 since leapfrogging this 50-day moving average in early September really hasn't looked back. And that 50 days all the way down at 2525 right now, about uh, you know 65 handles south of today's close. So uh, I'm not going to give any upside targets because, you know, first of all, we don't really have any right now, right? You could draw some smaller fibs and do fib extensions going that way, but we are truly in uncharted territory on the S&P 500. So right now it's just kind of running where the market's going to take it here over the short term. But should it come down, these are your levels, 25.54 and 25 squared on the S&P 500. Now I want to look at the Dow. Now, the mega caps of the Dow have been doing fantastic here lately. And uh, same story, where the last time the Dow got into the 50-day was here in early September. And since then, off to the races. Plenty of green on the screen. The 50-day moving average for the Dow sitting at 22,636. You know, 900 points away from where we're trading at now. So I think really, should the Dow come down to retrace a little bit, you're going to be talking about swing lows just above this 23,200 level. But overall, it has been bid, should continue to be bid, as long as earnings season can keep on plugging along. This week is big for media and tech. Those are basically the two major players that we've got going on here. So when you think tech, you got to think NASDAQ. And now I was talking about the S&P 500 in terms of an extension that may have been hit. Well, on the NASDAQ, we have this too. It's the September low through the mid-October high before we had this little bit of a, of a retrace. And you'll note that the market came down to the 38.2% retracement. And then I drew the FIB extension, and that got us up to 67.93, which is pretty much where the NASDAQ got intraday yesterday and today. So perhaps this is coming to fruition. So should the NASDAQ stall out here, then your support is back here. The previous high, the 66.42 level on the NASDAQ. Of course, in between here and there, you do have the swing low just from a few days ago. But really, I think this... 6642 is where more of the support is going to lie there on the Nasdaq. So we had a little bit of backpedaling today in the market. That was enough to wake up our VIX a tad. Not much VIX, still historical lows really um, with single digit VIX. But today you got a little bit of a pop still under that $10 level. Haven't had a spike since a few weeks ago when we got up over 13. VIX hasn't been above 15 since August. And even then, there's that intraday sort of 17 mark on the VIX, which we have not seen in ages. You got to go all the way back. Last time it was above 17 prior, obviously, to this spike was that pre-election day nervousness that the market had. So overall, things are going pretty well here for the market. Earnings are moving in the right direction and everything is all good. All right, so the five stocks that I want to touch on here today. First, we've got ConocoPhillips, ticker COP. Oil has been doing pretty well. That's been translating over through to the major oil integrated stocks. And here you go. Previous highs back in December, 53. That's recently been broken. So this is a breakout here that you could chase a little bit. There are a couple of reasons why you can be calm about chasing this breakout. First of all, you're going to get paid a little bit of a dividend while you wait. 
And secondly, um, because it's so tight, you can put your stops just south of the recent price action. You can draw yourself a trend line, or you can even come all the way down to the 50-day down at 48.51 because that's provided plenty of support on the way up. And even see, you can hear, you can see here during the October move, it gets above the 50-day and then just kind of keeps on trucking. So I like the breakout here. Something you can chase, I think, in ConocoPhillips. And again, these are all Zach's ring number one strong buy stocks. So you know you have an earnings story and an earnings picture that's turning around and moving in a positive direction to help and provide some support as well now we've got groupon ticker grpn that's right online coupons my friends look at the move since the june lows around three dollars now it's up over five again a retrace a move down here to the 50 day met with a bid overall you got a commodity channel index that was oversold crossed over the zero line and gave you a buy when it was down there near that 50 day but right now we're getting up in an area where it hasn't traded since september of 2016 but it looks like there's some buying here and and it's broken out towards highs so this is another stock you could buy put your stops just south of the 50-day moving average down there now the next one i got for you is craton corp ticker k r a so these guys are in the polymer business and a big big breakout here from multi-year high basically that september high september of 2016 got above that level and then we got another gap and go so this has been off to the races running into a little bit of resistance here at the $50 level big day today that it's pulled back a little bit so maybe there's some selling pressure here sit on the sidelines for a little bit see if you can get down to this $44 level before you decide to jump on Craton ticker KRA then we've got Southern Copper ticker SCCO I'll let you guess uh, what kind of business these guys are in but here it's been a pretty sustained rally. Gotten under the 50 day, ran into a little bit of trouble, but then it found a bid again. You still have an overall bullish trend here from the lows of June. Not something that's running away, screaming higher in you know a firework fashion, just going straight up. So this is good that it's kind of chopping around in here a little bit. Gives you plenty of time to go ahead and get on board. And you can put your stops south of that 4138 mark, which is the 50 day moving average now the last one i want to give you is texas instruments ticker txn and another situation where you have a pretty much a triple top that gets broken so there's once twice third times a charm broken out to the upside again you got a 50-day moving average positively sloped and this thing's off to the races very close to a hundred dollars right now that's likely to provide some resistance but you also see here that it consolidated for a little bit before starting to make this move higher. I think that this could be the time where it just breaks out from 100 um, and lets loose. So if you want to chase this one, again, you can use a sort of a swing low, maybe $93 as a stop, and you can just go ahead and let it go. So that's all I got for you here on Dave's Daily Dive. Remember to get at me on Twitter, at Bartosiastics. I'm also the editor of Surprise Trader as well as Momentum Trader. So I will see you guys out there in the tweets and out there on the streets. Have a good one.